Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on ASP.NET 4.5 for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn ASP.NET. This is part 11 in this series entitled Methods in ASP.NET 4.5 using C Sharp. Methods are used to easily maintain and reuse our codes. To write a method, we start with accessibility followed by the data type, the name of the method, the parameter list, and the statements inside the braces. Accessibility can be public, private, or protected. Public means that it can be accessed by any class. Private means that it can be accessed only in the class where it resides. Protected means that it can be accessed in the class where it resides or in any class that inherits from this class. Though these three are the most often used, there are two other accessibility options, internal and protected internal. Accessibility is applicable not only to methods but also to variables, properties, and events. The data type can be void or non-void. If it's void, it will not return any value. If it is non-void like integer, string, or boolean, it will return a value. A method can have none, one, or more parameters. Let's look at some examples of signatures of methods. The first one is a private method that doesn't return any value. That's why it's void, and there's no parameter. The second one is a public method that also doesn't return any value and has one parameter, num1 of data type double. The third example is a public method with integer return value. So this is a non-void method and has two parameters, both integer, num1 and num2. For activity number 11, we will create an ASP.NET website and place it in CASP Activity 11. Then we will create an ASP.NET web form named Circumference that will allow a user to enter the radius of a circle in a text box and create void and non-void methods to separately compute the circle's circumference. The formula to get the circumference of a circle is 2 times pi times the radius. Let's create our website, file new website. We'll put it in activity 11. Then we'll create our web form, add, add new item, and we'll call it circumference. Let's go to the design view. Let's add a table to format our objects. Maybe four rows and four columns. Okay, in the first cell, we'll type radius. In the cell below it, uh, we'll double tick a text box. And then in the last cell, in the first column, we'll type circumference. Then in the second column, first cell, we'll put using void method. Under it, we'll, we'll put a button object and we'll change the text to compute. This is button one. And then uh, below it, we'll put label that is label one. Okay, let's resize this column. Now the next column will type using a nine void method and below it we'll have another text box this is button 2 but we'll put the same text compute and for its output we're going to use also a label okay we're done with formatting now let's start with the first button button 1 this is using a void method so we'll create the methods let's create a bob that button one so we'll start with private the void and then let's start with using void so this method will calculate the circumference but there will be no uh, return statement that's why it's void and we'll have one parameter let's call it r the data type is integer okay then inside it 
we'll declare one variable, let's call it double. We are anticipating a fractional part because of the pi, so it should be at least single or double. Two uh, times, we'll use math, math, of, um, math class for the value of pi times the radius, which is r. Okay. Then, because it's uh, not going to return any value, we can also, we can already put here the statement uh, to display the result. And that will be placed in uh, label one that text, and that is C, so we'll just convert it to string. Let's see. Okay, so now in button one, we're going to call that method using void. And the parameter we're going to put here is text box one dot text. But remember that the parameter, uh, the argument that it will accept is an integer. So we'll convert it to integer, Let's say 32, that value from text box one dot text. Correct, close. Okay, that's it. So we were able to implement the first uh, method that is not returning any value. Let's go to the second one. This time we're going to use a non-void method. Let's uh, create also the method uh, above button one click. Make it private. This time uh, there will be a return value. Let's see double. Then using non void, it will also have one parameter uh, integer r. Okay, so here um, we will be able to return a value. So full we'll type return and then we will return the result when 2 is multiplied to pi and the value of r. So let's return that 2 times math.pi times r. Okay, that's it. Then in in the column procedure, the event procedure for but button to click, we'll call it, we'll call it, and we'll place the result, the return value to C. So this is using non void, and it will contain, contain the same argument. We'll convert to integer 32 the content of text box one dot text. Okay. So since the return value is on C, the result is on C, we can display the result from here. This label two dot text is equal to C dot to string. Class, uh, I think class. I think we got it. Let's try to run it. Control F5. Let's put just one. Using void method. Correct. 3.1416 is the pi, so 4.28 is correct. Using non void method. Again, it's correct. Okay, let's go back to our code. Notice that by using void method, we are forced to write the statement to display the result inside the method. However, in using the non void method, a value was returned to the calling statement, and under it is the statement to display the result. Notice also that non void method uses the return statement, while void method doesn't. Well, very good guys. Congratulations. We just finished creating methods in ASP.NET. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Ma salama.